Dixie had another baby. Dixie? How many did she have? Two! Just the sheep looks like you. The sheep looks like me? Yeah. Well, it must be one good looking sheep. They say there's two. That's what I'm talking about. A sheep that gives birth overnight. You wake up with not one, but two babies. Ryder was like that. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my word. I think it's got a spot on its back. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh my gosh. Dixie, did you throw the cutest babies? Just before I didn't think they could get any cuter. Look at all these babies in here. And they're up and at them. You must have already nursed because they are crushing it. Two babies by Dixie. Two babies by Ryder. One baby by Belle. One baby by Floppy. Boy. That's a boy. We want boys. We want boys. What is They're a little faster growing. We're going to use these guys for meat. So we want boys. What's that one? I think it's a That's boy. That's a girl. Oh, it is? Yep. <laughs> That's okay. Look at this eye. So a brown ear, a, a patch around the eye, two brown ears. We got two patches. Two patches around the eye. Adorable. Six lambs is what we need for our use. Per year. We still got one you to go if she's pregnant. Bandy, are you pregnant? She's kind of not been in ideal health. She's not lost her coat. She didn't lose her coat over the summer. Well, it's certainly not the only indication of somebody that's maybe not um, gonna thrive here. We're gonna see how she does with her with her babies. If she's not pregnant, then yeah. Uh oh. She's like. This place is getting way too full. The sawmill guy's coming back today. Feed is scheduled to be delivered today. The wood chipper may be coming today. We're having some friends over for a premiere of Rooted 2. And we gotta plant potatoes. Now this Papa. is a load of potatoes, two boxes. And you can cut them into pieces like this, one and a half inch squares. I don't know, I get about one an inch, two inch cube. And you just need two eyes. I mean, really, you just need one eye, which there's an eye, and there's an eye, so good chances this is going to grow. Textbook says you're to cut these and let them cure for a couple of days. Let's do that. I've planted them straight up before, and it'd be fine. So take your cut ones and put them in here. You got this, my man? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Mama, come in. The seed potatoes. Textbook says you cut them up and let them cure for a few days. You want to do that? You don't or you want to just plant them? Or whatever. You can do whatever you want. I've done it both ways. And it didn't seem to make a difference, did it? Not that I saw here. Okay. It might come down to if we have time today or not. Yeah. How's little baby Henry? He's good. He's trying to take a nap. I'm like, I woke up. You ready to cook about 14 pounds of meatloaf today? I'm going to make several little ones. Like, nuts. Mm. One big 14 pound one. So it'll okay. take forever to cook. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then it'll be weird on the edge. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Two more sheep last night, Beck. I know. It's We've got our quota. Anything extra now is bonus. Leave Josiah in there cutting up potatoes. Let's check in on the sawmill guys. They're here. They already got us some nice two by fours going. Josiah! You knocked it out, my man. There's a whole nother, this must, this one must have been on top because these have shot out. Well, this clearly tells us where the eyes are though. Yeah, that's easy. So that'll make it easy. You want to do those too? Sure. Party supplies for tonight. That is a stack of potatoes. Looks like we could have done more though. Well, you might have did good. Could we have split this in two? I didn't lock. Probably. But I think that's probably going to be plenty of potatoes. Let's put it out in the loft. We'll let it cure out maybe at least a day. We don't have time today. I didn't catch it on film, but the truck had absolutely no problem. He just pulled right in there and backed out. Of course, this guy, he's a good driver. Hey, that's handy. They've got this thing anyway for the sawmill. So it's like, hey, can you unload our, our feed? Shoot, he might be able to get in here with this thing. Good. 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 It's gonna be close. Yes, yeah, good. That's good enough. We got truck. That's convenient. Good. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Beck's been hard at work. Grandma's been hard at work. 
Look at these beautiful eggs. Mucho huevos. Looks like you used some in your classic meatloaf recipe. That's like 14 pounds. You know that, right, Beck? Yeah, it's a lot. I've got baby Henry. I don't know how happy he is about it, though. He's a chicken time mom. He's a chicken time mom. He's insane. This is a lot of meatloaf, Beck. These are huge. Look, here's my hand. There's the meatloaf. Friends are here. Gonna give them a tour. They wanted to see the three little pigs. There they are. Come here. What do you think, Wilder? As if you don't see these all the time. But not little ones <laughs> for a long time. Look at that. Come on, pet him. I love piggies. I want you guys to see the big boys now. Big boy and girl. Watch out for the broody uh, goose. Yeah, haven't they gotten big? They've changed a lot, huh, Ben? Lamb babies. Look who's here. <laughs> Come join the uh, tour, the party. What do you think, Wilder? Have you ever had a baby lamb? You want me to get you one? Look at you holding that thing in your head on it. Isn't that nice? I've never seen a baby lamb. Doesn't that feel nice? Oh my gosh. <laughs> feel a little heartbeat. Yeah. Going? You feel so <laughs> Here you go, Jason. Milky? I've never done this before. You've never even seen a baby lamb. I've never now, even now seen a baby lamb. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be that's I exciting. Think this is next. I think this is next. This is the next animal Alpha, for us? Obviously. You got an right, acre right. and a half. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Really? Yeah. Well. Uh, <laughs> right. it, it'll end up being a pet. It'll end up being a pet oh, for oh, Alright, right. <laughs> right, I think this is where Ben's gonna get really excited. Animals are cool, but tools are better. <laughs> tools are cooler. Tools are cooler. <laughs> After hanging out with some friends, we all premiered Rooted Number Two. How is this gonna end? She'll ask herself, what would I do if I wasn't afraid? And then she does that. It's really traumatic. It wasn't even my child, you know, like, and it was nine years ago. And it still just like gets me to the core when I think about what she went through, you know? And how to make the lemon go to the bottom is like this. See the lemons here? The lemon's gone and the lemon's there. I think she felt it more in her bones, so to speak. More can go wrong. I mean, if, if you're not frolicking through this pregnancy, well, then it can create a, a doubt, I imagine, that that might be a reflection of what's going to happen in the labor. I was pushed into an OR and they said, get on the table. And I crawled onto the table and they strapped me down and then there's people talking in my face like, we're gonna do this and this and this. And I was like, okay. That was just a few clips of the show and some of my first reaction. Then we said goodbye to everyone and got a little quick review. Goodbye, Lorraine. Good. Bye, Jason. He's like, I'm leaving. Bye. 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 What'd you think of the movie? I thought it was great. Okay. I can't wait to the next one for sure. <laughs> That's quite the cliffhanger, huh? What'd you think, Ben, Meg? It was, it was good. good. I, I enjoyed it. Hurry up with the next one. <laughs> Brianna, what'd you think? Well, it was awesome, but, a lot, but there's a cliffhanger. So. People do not like the cliffhangers. It's, I, yes, I feel a little unsatisfied. <laughs> well, how are you going to live with yourself the next 30 days? Uh, I'm just going to have to forget this ever happened. <laughs> there's a cliffhanger. But I, th I think you want to see it, and you can gain a lot from other parts of the video. Uh, that, guys, we're going to premiere it Wednesday night. We had a wonderful discussion at our premiere here at the house. So why don't we premiere it Wednesday night? It's a 20-minute show, and then after that, Rebecca and I will be there live, and we'll lead a discussion surrounding fear and, you know, things like, what did we expect f for our... Like even things like, what do we expect for our spouses, you know, growing up? Rebecca thought I was gonna be a banker. Uh, what would you do if you weren't afraid? 
tips and tricks for pushing through fear. Kind of how to know when you should listen to fear and stop and how do you know when you should just grab fear on your back and just run through it. Why don't we do that? Wednesday night, link down in the description, watchrooted.com. It's available inside of our Abundant Permaculture member area.